most front end developers when using margin and padding they don't understand which space is margin and which space is padding that is why i use border to show the difference well you once you code and uh, align your your tiles your margin and padding after that you can pretty much even remove the border if it is not required so i am using border every time i'm using a margin and padding to understand the actual space of it now we'll see what padding is so we have this is border number 1 which is this div what i'm going to do is to this div i'm going to give padding left now in terms of properties the properties are all similar to margin properties just look at this this is border number 1 the border solid applies to that div i'm giving padding left 50 pixel now just look at here see the space is inside the border meaning this whole div element inside that div element you make a space so in this div element you say that there has to be a space here and after that that the div tag can start rendering but in case of padding sorry in case of margin you say the margin is beyond the border beyond the border of uh your your div tag or whichever element you are using so margin is beyond the border which is like outside the element padding is inside the element similarly you have a padding right now the padding right is pretty much whatever content is see this 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 padding left or right is based on the content inside the div container now the left you have given uh, 50 pixel we already gave i'm going to give right 50 pixel but when i do a refresh i don't see any difference the padding left i have removed so that is gone but padding 50 we don't see because see the 50 is already here yeah the space is already here there's already a huge space so from its own border to this it there has to be 25 pixel but since it is more than sorry 50 pixel but since it is more than 50 pixel we don't see anything padding so it doesn't so if it even if it uh, so just think about this here it is pushed from this border here if it is even pushed from this border for 50 pixel doesn't make sense because any text that you write by default it is on the left side okay so in that case even though it has been pushed for uh, pushed from the border for 50 pixel it doesn't matter the border is already on the extreme left so similarly you have a padding top 50 pixel padding bottom 50 pixel and uh, the short hand pixel all the sides and then uh, padding just the two values means top and bottom right and left top and bottom is 50 right and left is 100 pixel so top right and left and bottom so top right and left bottom that's what we see and finally top right left sorry top right bottom and left top right bottom left so this is padding's shorthand i will see how the width is calculated padding top giving okay padding left let me give padding left is 100 pixel so this is the border 
so padding left is 100 pixel now we'll see what is the width of it let me try this see this is 100 pixel and this is 100 pixel so whenever you give this width that i gave is for this class and this class is applied to div so whenever you give width and padding width will take 100 pixel okay so if i have if i don't have this padding don't have this padding it is going to take 100 pixel width but when i have padding that 100 pixel will be extra so this div size is now 100 plus 100 200 pixel because considering that whatever is within the border is the element then this is 100 pixel and this is 100 pixel so 200 pixel is what it took this is an alternative way to fix this or say uh, even if i have like 100 pixel it should come uh, within uh, this calculated width there is an option for that we'll see in the upcoming videos but uh, something that i insist every time you use margin or padding try to use a border and then look at the space it takes and then if border is not required you can remove the border